Lord. The Lord has prepared his vessel, his general, to bring the word. I want you to echo the word. The word. I want you to echo again the word. The word. May you receive the grace to act on the word. Amen. Prepare your mind. And you're not going to leave this place the same way you are lost. With a round of applause, let's bring to the restaurant. God will share. every member of the house here, especially the Gio, mommy in the house, Pastor Edmond, and the rest of other pastoral team that I'm yet to know all their names. And the music department, I want to say you are very wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To the rest of you in the floor here, you are very important persons to us. You are the reason why we are here as a church. I want to specially say a very big thank you for giving me this privilege to stand in this your exalted order to share the word of him that is our great king and maker. Today is a very unique day. Not only in the annals of this country, it's also a very new day because you are beginning a very new anniversary into another independence. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And we call it independence. You know, when something is independent, it's separated and disconnected from something. And if the country is independent, it means it is standing on its own as a sovereign nation. This morning, you are also separated from every entanglement. Amen. And that which made you cry before will leave you today. Amen. That man is a sleeping man. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I would have loved to make some declaration to this day, but some of the pronouncements. I will make are also connected to the subject matter of the program for this morning. Remember, it is titled The Siege is Over. Press the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we be on our feet briefly? Hallelujah. Yeah. Lift up your right hand. You decree like this. Say, I take authority. I take authority. I take authority. I take authority. Over Nigeria. Power that will drag Nigeria. On the floor of shame. Scatter. 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 Pray the prayer. Lick up a shot. Everybody that doesn't 
Lay the hand on your chest. Press the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Decree this one on top of your voice. Any power. Any power. In me. In me. Dragging me to shame. Dragging me to shame. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Die now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hold your devil. Just two by two. Hallelujah. Say, Label of Shame and Demotion. I paralyze you. I paralyze you. Label of Shame. In my life and family, in my life and family, I paralyze you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Point to your neighbor. Say that power. Keeping you and your family. Keeping you and your family. In the place of God. In the name of Jesus. Take your seat. Somebody read for me. I mean, Joe. The destiny to know his place. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth. That the wicked might be shaken out of it. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you understood what you read. Yes, sir. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are told in the down of another anniversary. I told you this anniversary is tied to your freedom, your liberty. Pain is a spiritual figure. We answered. Cornelius was visited. His emotional relegation will be torn into delegation. It's a moment of your rising again. It's a time to shine again. Yeah. Now, look at this. Let me read it from my King James here. The Bible says, Has thou commanded the only since thy days and caused the day spring to know his place? Hallelujah. Yeah. Look at verse 14. Are you there? Yes, sir. No, verse 13, please. That it might take hold of the ends of the earth, that the wicked might be shaken out of it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look for the neighbor you look at pray well for you. Be on your feet. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hold your level. Look at your level. Come on to Bible. 
Say, foundation of the wicked. Foundation of the wicked. In your life. In your family. In your destiny. Be shaken down. 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 Say, I summon, I summon the four corners of this country. The north, south, east, and the west. The north, south, east, and the west. Appear before God. Appear before God. Power that will pull me down. Power that will pull me down. Receive thunder. 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 Receive the prefix when you are writing a book you must have the prefix yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And what we are doing, you must take note of this. We are laying a new foundation into what will happen in the course of this year until another independent will come again. When you are building a house, you buy the land you will uproot the stone. You clear the bushes. Remove whatever you know will stand as an encumbrance to a solid foundation of the structure. Press the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And it is after you have done that, you now look at the topography. You look at the land where you know will pose a challenge to the foundation of what you want to put in place. And then either you level it or you know the depth to take the foundation to give you, to give the structure, the strength you want it to be. Praise the name of the Lord. But one thing is sure, no matter what has been happening before, your destiny must shine. Amen. Your star must shine. Amen. Your glory will arise. Amen. Isaiah 10. Are you there? Yes, sir. Are you in the Isaiah 10? Yes, sir. Okay, can we examine that verse? Number one. Look at that verse, number one. What is it saying? Who? Can somebody read it loud and clear? That's what. More unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. Yeah. And that right previous clears which they have prescribed. Yes. Two. Verse two. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Yes. Stop there, sir. Go unto them that will decree unrighteous decree and the right great justness which they have prescribed. Amen. Amen. Now, what is a decree. A decree is an enacted injunction. 
And take note here. We are told the decree is an unrighteous one. And the intention of the decree is to pull away, to take away the rise of the common people. Thank God for those kids. They spoke brilliantly, intelligently here. They were so wonderful. I was so touched in my spirit. And at some point, I wanted to become emotional. Then I held myself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are some people that have entered into some spiritual activities to take charge over the new anniversary of this country again. And what they are taking charge is what's supposed to be your right and not right. And when they have taken charge, they make you cry, they make me cry. They come up with conditions and laws that are so tight and draconian on the people. The power ones are strangulated. Today, a robot of Gary, I don't know how much now. Eh? You don't know the price. Yes. <laughs> You mean you mean they come? Hallelujah! Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah! A woman came to me for prayers, and she said her husband has abandoned her with five children. And I told her, "Can we pray?" For the return of the husband. And while I held hands with her to pray. She said hold on sir. Pastor. You go give me money to buy for give my children. How to feed the children. Was so passionate to her. And I told her, I will give you money to buy food for the children. And after now, come to the house. I will give you some yams too to take and get something for your children. So the country has gotten so hard. The country has gotten so tired. It has gotten to a point that the hope for tomorrow is looking so bleak. But no matter how tight as it may be, God is God. When God is arisen, every other thing bows. When God speaks, the speakings of the wicked will no longer count. And that is why we are going to revoke whatever is the speakings, the unrighteous decrees that have been made to take over this country, to continue in the harrowing experience that we are going through right now. Can you be on your feet? Satan Dalaba, lift up your right hand. Say every unrighteous decree. Every unrighteous decree to control Nigeria. To the pain of Nigeria. The pain of Nigeria. Be revoked by fire. Be revoked by fire. Be by fire. Be revoked by fire. Be revoked by fire. Be revoked by fire. Everything, 
I have my money to pay the school fees of my children. But it doesn't mean you do not have the alias of your destiny that you need to arise. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Any part of your life where you are operating in inadequacies, the areas of your life where you are going through pains, the areas of your life where life pains, the gaps of your destiny, the gaps of your marriage, the gaps of your calling, the gaps of your job, the gaps of your economy. The gaps of your finances, the gaps of your academics, the gaps of your health, that are down. Those are the areas you need to arise. And if this may be the case, there's no one in this assembly that will say, I don't have an area that I need to arise. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The areas of shame are the areas you need to rise to glory. The areas of mockery, the areas of people label. Some of you are label with nicknames. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the nicknames attached to you are akins to the circumstances of life you are going through. In those areas, you must arise. Amen. Your women is too. The Bible says, Arise. He didn't stop there. Shine, Kaparata. Amen. Amen. Which means when you were down, you were not shining in that area. But now that you are arisen, you have to start shining. Amen. It didn't stop there. Look at the word following. For the light has come the world. The areas you went down and have not arisen and you will not shining were under the control of darkness. And now that the light has come, it quickens you to arise, number one. And number two, it illuminated you to begin to shine. It didn't stop there. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon the poor. Then you say, the glory of the Lord is risen upon the upon me. Now, the glory of the Lord that comes quicken the lighting of the lights and the lighting of the light invigorated you and re-energized you, quickened you, takes you from where you've been crawling on the ground. In that area of your mockery, your shame, your disgrace, your lack, your inadequacies. And then it quickens them and then they arose. And when they arose, they didn't just arise. When they were down, there was no shining, no oil, no brightness, no freshness. They were just down, hopeless. They were hopeless. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In case you are having, which I know each of us, including me, I have the area or areas I need God to arise, that I will arise. That I will shine, that I will experience the tremendous shining of God's light, yeah. and then take the reflection of the power of His sovereign glory to change my circumstances. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand. Say, whether the devil likes it or not, whether the devil likes it, I was around. I was around. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, 
When you will die, and you have not arisen, you were not shining. Your destiny was being dragged from the mud, in the mud of shame. And even people you are supposed to be better of them, they begin to look at you with mockery. When you pass, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, it is my time to shine. 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 I will 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 shine. Because my glory has come. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah.